best time to trade. I know you have been uh, watching your chart and sometimes you can have a big spike and you wonder why have the market moved after arranging so many, uh, so many hours. So in this video, I want to just highlight on the best time to trade and you'll be able to know which pairs to trade and, and which one to avoid. So before we even we go to the video, I want to tell you there are four sessions. We have four trading sessions. Trading sessions. So we have four trading sessions. The first one is the London session, the New York session. Then we have the Sydney. Then we have the Tokyo. So these are the four sessions that we have. We have London, New York, Sydney, and Tokyo. So, and I will be giving with Kenyan time. So Kenyan time, uh, for you, if you are outside Kenya, for us, we use UTC plus three. So if you, you use UTC plus five, you may know how to do the calculations. So in Kenya, as we do UTC plus three, and uh, I will give with our time because I don't want to confuse many people. So if you're in Kenya and you want to trade a uh, London session, London session starts between 10, between 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Go and open your chart and you will see, you will see movement of the market. The market is very active between 10 to 11. That's when the London session, they are very, very active. For the New York is 3 p.m. So 3 p.m. Kenyan time, you will find New York session is very, very active. For Sydney is 11 p.m. Kenyan time, 11 p.m. Kenyan time. This market, uh, the Sydney is very active and the Tokyo is 3 a.m. The Tokyo is 3 a.m. So we have uh, the London 10 to 11. It varies. Sometimes by 10, the market starts to become volatile. So 10 to 11, the, the London session is very volatile. And the New York is volatile, 3 p.m. Sydney is 11 at night, our time. And 3 a.m. is Tokyo. So which pairs uh, are you supposed to be watching when you're trading London session? So the London session, I want you, this one is 3 a.m. So in the morning for Kenyans and that person who, uh, if you if you just even Google 11 a.m. Kenyan time to your time, you will be able to know uh, what time will be, uh, exact time will be in your place. So if you want to trade on the London session, these are the pairs, the best pairs to trade, Euro and GBP. These are the best pairs to trade in that time. So you can trade Euro, USD, GBP, USD. Any pair with GBP or Euro is the best to, to trade at. London session. When it comes to New York session, any pair with USD, it starts to become volatile. So that's why you can sometimes, you might be trading GBP USD in the morning. So you might be trading GBP USD in the morning and the market uh, and your buy is going on well. You are you had entered buy and you have profits. But in the, in the uh, afternoon, when now New York session comes in, we don't know how the USD will behave. Sometimes you may start seeing sellers coming in because um, the reason why sellers are coming in is because of the New York session has opened and maybe majority of people who are in the New York, they are selling uh, GBPUSD thinking GBPUSD will never see it trending for a very long time. And I can give it with example. Let me show you what I mean when I say GBPUSD. It will buy today and buy tomorrow. Like it will buy this time and then the other time. So if you look at GBPUSD in such a case, you see this candle, this is a candle of London session. So the market opened and immediately London session, the market moved up with 54 pips. So this candle is for London session. And the other candle is when New York session opens. So if you had money, let's say you had entered and you were trading London session and you have money, you don't need to be found by New York session. So New York session is about three. So it's either you choose, I'll be trading from 11 or 10 to 230. By three, you're outside the market. You don't want to trade because if you continue trading, you will find um you will find that you you have a uh, you have some trades that are going negative, yet you are making money. Okay. So for me, I, I really I highly suggest that if you start trading, if you start trading, you you understand the sessions once you understand the session you are able to to know when to exit the trade okay so for for gbp usd you can see uh it has 
for GBPUSD, you can see at, at the London session, the pound is very strong, but when we come to New York session, the pound uh, becomes weak and the USD starts to, uh, the, it starts to take the power. For Sydney, if you want to trade uh, Sydney pair, the AUD is for Sydney. So anytime you're trading out USD, sometimes you will, you will, you will start to notice this pair sometimes at night it moves. When GBPUSD is not moving much, out USD and GBPUSD, they can move a lot at night because of the Sydney session. So sometimes you may be sleeping with GBPUSD uh, pair. And these are the pairs that you should avoid when you're in Kenya and, and you are, it's time to go and sleep. Don't sleep with these two trades. You might find that either you have made money or you have lost because they move when we ask you are sleeping. For the Tokyo session, for the Tokyo session is JPY pairs. If you have noticed, JPY pairs, they move a lot at 3 a.m. Even the news to be released on JPY pairs moves a lot at 3, at 3 a.m. So these are the pairs there. The Tokyo and the Sydney, if you're in Kenya, or you convert your time and you see you'll be sleeping, just avoid trading those pairs at that time because they will move. They, will, they are volatile and you might imagine when the market is moving and you're sleeping. So this is to encourage you when you're choosing your pair, choose the, choose your pair wisely. For Audi USD is a good pair, but Audi USD during London session, it does not move. Have you ever noticed you have traded GBPUSD and Audi USD in the morning, but Audi USD doesn't move. It starts to move, comes in. So when you're trading your pairs, you have to be very, very careful what you're trading and to be uh, to be very careful. If you trade now Audi JPY during the day, sometimes it may it may stay without even giving you it may range a lot because Audi is Sydney and JPY is Tokyo. And this pairs a lot of movement on Audi JPY. But during the night, Audi JPY they really move. So with this, it you will have to understand that for me, the best pairs that I can recommend is Euro USD, GBP USD. These are the pairs that you can uh, I, I can I can recommend because you see now when you when you have a when you have this these pairs when you have these pairs like GBPUSD you already know I'll be trading from ten to eleven and by two I'm done Euro USD the same or I won't trade in the morning but by three I will start to trade so this video is just to help you to understand the time zones and you start now like Eurocard if this is your pair and you are trading Eurocard let's see what is happening so you can see this this Euro is the the market started to move can you see the market started to move here at the London session at 12, from 11 to 12, the market started to move up. And you can tell that the market starts, sometimes it gains more power. So understanding uh, understanding your time zone is very important. So if you're watching this video, I want you to comment down below and let me know, what do you think by time zones? Do you think uh, time zones have been affecting your trade? Do you trade Tokyo, Sydney? Which, which, time, which time zone do you trade? Which time zone do you trade? Anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I will be doing, and that's why you see many people going live uh, when they are trading New York session at three or going live London session and they rate London session just to clarify. Okay, guys, so I, I have I have really want people not to be scammed by someone who is impersonating me and not someone. Many people are impersonating me. I don't know the deal with impersonating me. So if you want any of my classes, we are starting with class of excellence that will start on October. And then from class of excellence, uh, we will go to the FHT. FHT is the Forex Hidden Treasure Forex course. If you're still interested with it, you can purchase it. And the last but not least is the Zoom one month mentorship program for international students. It will be starting on 20th of October. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. And I cannot, I'm so happy by your testimony. So many people are texting me saying, we have started to understand Forex. We have started to understand. Let's uh, keep on uh, making those testimonials because it is really motivating me, okay? So all the best. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you.